Good evening. Welcome back to Free Work Doors and myself, Dylan. And we're out fishing again. It's gonna be a short one tonight. It's gonna to be something a little bit different. I haven't done it before. Different method, free lining. So I've got to get my gear set up quickly. I'll show you how I'm doing it. Hopefully it'll work. Who knows? Like I said, I haven't tried it before. It's always good to try new things. So I'm gonna free line a bit of crab, see if we can't pick up a bass. Tonight is all about bass. Hopefully I can pick one up. But yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I'm only gonna fish for maybe three hours. Tides are not brilliant for it, to be honest. Tides are a bit wrong, but hey ho. We'll give it a go and see how it goes. Right, so basically, I haven't worn the old chest cam for a while, so you'll have to bear with. So I've got my bass rod, which is a two to four ounce bass rod, 11 foot six, as you can see there. It's an icon, it's not an expensive one, it's a cheapie. It's a reasonably expensive reel, I guess. It's over a hundred pounds, I think. It's a fin nor, it's a bait runner, and I believe that's a size 60. So it's a fixed ball, but obviously I can click that on, it can run, and then as soon as I wind into it, then that will lock up. I've got 45 pound braid on there. 45 pound braid, and then get to the end here. I've just got a clip and then basically I've made up a whole bunch of snoods, hook snoods. This one's about 70 centimetres and then on the end of that, let's quickly have a look, on the end of that I've got a 5.0 wide mouth and a 3.0 uh, and then like I say I'll bait that up with elastic and chuck it out. But yeah, let me get some bait sorted and then we can get it out. So there we go, so I've peeled my crab, elasticate, it's a massive bait, I mean this is the advice I've been given, is to give it a whole, whole crab, but it seems huge. It's like two lovely hound baits, but anyway, still haven't had a hound yet this year. I did contemplate on going hound fishing tonight, but with a sun like this, and to be honest, I didn't really want a massive late one, so I'll pop that, pop that in there. I want that super proud. Plastic that up. Right, so I've never done this before. I'm just hoping there might be a couple of fish. I have got another rod just in case I feel like having a proper fish, but I've got a feeling tide is not on our side. I'm just going to pop that in the top. Like so, massive juicy bait. Look at that. Oh, right. I can't actually can't actually see. I think the camera's on. Yes, it is. Right. I'm just going to flick this out. Right, let's see what happens. Here we go, let's chuck it out. And I guess the idea is uh, to let it go. So yeah, I'm guessing the idea is flick it out in the tide let it swing around let it do whatever it wants to do but really I should be holding on to this rod so and we'll just see what happens with the tide I suppose what I'll do is I'll give it a couple of casts. 
I'll give it a couple of casts, see how it goes. I mean, like I say, I'm, I don't know if I'm casting out too far, if I need to be in close to the wall or what, but you know, in amongst the rocks and the weed, I've kind of gone a little bit long, I think, on that one, but yeah, we'll see. Like I say, it's first chuck, see what happens, eh? So, I've been giving it about an hour. I'm only on my second crab bait, uh, and I've peeled all the legs and the crab I've taken off, and I've chucked that in the water to sort of chum the area a bit. And I'm sinking and moving, but <laughs> I've just chummed it, so I've got to give it another half hour, an hour here before I think about moving on. Even if I just move a few hundred yards along. I might be getting a bite. Not sure. Rod just moved. One sec. No, false alarm. I think it was just a tiny bit of breeze. And I had my rod sort of balanced on my leg quite precariously. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to give it a little while. Uh, it's quite a, it's not a stressful way of fishing, but when you're fishing with two rods and stuff, you're out, you can, you've can you got stuff to do, you're rebaiting, you're changing your baits every 15, 20 minutes. Whereas obviously with this, you're really not. That first crab I had in there for 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, so it's a very different style of fishing. I'm not going to say boring, because if I get into a fish, then it's not going to be boring, is it? But yeah, we'll keep plugging away and see if we can't pull something out. Don't know if you can see that, but there's loads of fish. Loads of white bait down there. Hopefully, <laughs> there's a bass following them. All right, I'm bringing you back, because I just had a bite. Something had a little tap on it. Go on, come back. Come back. Well, that's the first touch I've had. And now I'm standing ready. <laughs> I mean, it could have been anything, to be honest, having a little tug on it. Like I say, I have got braid on there. And that's the beauty with having uh, polarised sunglasses as well, that I can actually see into the water a bit. Take some of the glare away and you can actually see through the surface. Where's that fish gone? Come on. Well, there we go. That's what we got. That's big old crab. Give that bait a bit of a squeeze. Let some of the juices out again. I'm going to dunk it out there for a little bit again and then that's going to be it, and then I'm going to move on. Give it some line. Put me bait runner on so I can just pull some line off and wait. Ah, well, no, no luck there. Uh, so we're jumping in the vehicles. I've bumped into Nick as well. We've got 20 minute drive. We're going to try another mark. See if we can't bag one. Tide's turned now, so hopefully the ebb should show something. But right, 
I'll get to the mark and then uh, I'll bring you back. But fingers crossed we can get one. I'm buzzing for it. Right, so we're at the uh, second mark and uh, we've been fishing for maybe, I don't know, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. I've missed a bite, had a decent bite and I keep forgetting that I've got a, um, a bait runner. I'm supposed to let it go. So I struck and of course it just went zzzz. And uh, yeah, I missed it. So, uh, but yeah, stunning. But like I say, light is starting to go and the uh, mozzies are definitely out in force. I'm gonna try and set a little camera up, uh, just see if we can get something on camera because uh, it'd be nice to show it. But uh, as of yet, we haven't had one, but we have both had bites. So could get one, let's see. Hey! Hello, Mucker! Hey! Oh, yeah! He's bigger than the one I had the other night. There we go! I don't know if he, like, say, that's my little chest can there. I've just stuck it on the rocks. Well, we got one. Yeah, that's definitely heavier than the one I had the other night. There we go. What a beautiful looking bass. That's got to be, well it's over, it's got to be three pound I would have thought. But it's in stunning condition. And that's exactly what we came for. So I'm super stoked about that. Like I say, I don't know what the footage is. I've got no screen on this, so hopefully you can see it. But, oh, but there we go. Look at that. What a stunner. Beauty. Fortunately, buddy, you're coming home for my dinner. Oh, mate. Get to me. Ah, oh, there we go. So we're all done. Uh, yeah, sorry I didn't do much filming. I wanted to try and get a video together, but it's really difficult with that style of fishing because you're holding your rod the entire time. And I did have my chest cam on for a bit, but then I wanted to try and show you me and Nick actually standing with the rods and stuff like that, you know, trying to get some different content. So yeah, it probably won't be the best video, but we did go out to target bass and we did get one. I'm super chuffed. Weighed it in the end. It's £3.13. So I only thought it was £3, but it's quite fat. Uh, yeah, so it's a really nice table size uh, bass, you know, to take home. I know not everybody does, and that's totally cool. I'm cool with people not taking them, so hopefully people are cool with me taking the odd one uh, for the table. Because that's, to be honest, that's why I go fishing, really. I do enjoy fishing. I do enjoy trying to get a smooth hound and stuff, but when those bream come in, 
I'm going to be all over it because <laughs> we really like eating them. And if I can get some mackerel and some bass at the same time, then then I'll I'll try and get some. But yeah, so thanks for stopping by. Hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, like I say, if you leave a comment below, then I'll always try and get back to you. Uh, until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and maybe see you out there. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.